Hello everybody, this is Neanderthal Gaming and welcome back to Hearthstone. It's finally here, Blackrock. Week 1 at least. Um, I've already beaten it. I'm sorry, I could not help myself. I did wait for a long time just to try to record and I could not have find a time, so I just did it on my own. Uh, I beat the week, the first, um, the first, uh, what do you call this? The first level, I guess. Um, but I only did it once, uh, and I have not done... Actually, I did do the class challenges, too. <laughs> Sorry. But I do have the best uh, classes the to do them with. The Dark Iron Dwarves are enslaved by Ragnaros. Fight through them to reach the Fire Lord. Uh, what was I saying? I've done the class challenges, and I've done the first level. Um, and I kind of... I didn't look up anything uh, how to beat these because I, I figured out how to do them on my own. Um, but this guy is the Grim Guzzler. Before you can crush Ragnaros, you need to defeat these unruly dwarves. And his power costs zero, so which means he's probably going to do it every turn. It's called Pylon, and it puts a minion from each deck into the battlefield. Which means you need a deck with a lot of big minions that cost a lot because they're gonna go out on the floor for free uh, and I have just a deck for that I did not even have to make a custom deck for this um, my beast of a deck has a couple of iron bark defenders or protectors whatever they're called uh, Keltazad, Isera ah, so many other ones um, Lots of big, lots of big um, minions, and so very good deck because they're gonna get out for free. Like I, on turn one, I had I had Isera out on turn one when I was trying this uh, before. Versus the Grim Guzzler. Corn Dire Brew. Welcome to the Grim Guzzler. Oh, so it's like a I bar. Protect the wild. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Well, we're gonna keep that. Ah, dang it. <laughs> now you want these in your deck because it only comes from your deck. That's actually that's actually not good. <laughs> we don't want to draw any good cards. We want them to there stay in your deck. Oh, of course, you stay there. Looky now, we've got a test. Well, that's a good matchup at least. Uh, actually, I want to keep you. Let's do that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was... Oh, my God. Uh, not off to a good start, guys. I was thinking it was the other... I was thinking it was Fuegan. Oh, uh, that was dumb. That was really dumb. I thought it was Fuegan. I thought... Uh, I thought it was the 4-7. I thought he would have lived with 2 health. And I would have used this on him. That was dumb. I just wasted a Mark of the Wild. Down the drain. I think I'll still win. This guy's pretty easy to beat. I do. Oh, I forgot. I did change. Summon four one one taunts. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, I did change this deck a little bit, not because. Oh, perfect. That's gonna be used next turn for sure. Uh, I I did change this deck a little bit ago, not because of Blackrock, but just because I was using it. I added. Uh, that one druid that turns into a 7-7 snake if you have any beasts. So I added a lot of small beast cards. I took out like the Anoyatron and the the uh, the robot, the mech that gains attack every turn. I can't remember what it's called. But I took those out and put in some Crocolisks and some uh, Bloodfen Raptors instead. Uh, so yeah, that should be good. Uh, but those are in here now instead of the other ones. So I think we can do... Yeah, let's just take out some of these taunts. That spiteful smith is going to be annoying, but uh, hopefully we get a big card here. Ah, dang it. Also, I suggest not having um, uh, battle cry minions or ones that are like choose one. What did you just do? Oh, you enraged me. Okay. Whatever, dude. Does not matter. Oh, this guy's kind of a cool card, too. Did two damage to all undamaged enemy minions. That is crazy, crazy, crazy powerful. Especially if you're going against something like a zoo, uh, where they have tons of little minions. All right, so we could swipe Innervate Wrath, or we could... 
Or we could Keeper of the Grove innervate Wrath this guy, but not get a card. I think we're going to swipe. So let's swipe. Let's hit him. And then we innervate and get a card. Lucky he didn't have a weapon. Ah, another innervate. Well, that'll be useful in a turn. In two turns. I think turn six we're probably going to iron bark just because it's awesome having that turn six. Ah, nice. Oh. Oh. Ah, well played. Well played. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we could do this. Uh, Fuegan. That's it. Yeah. That's a bad idea. Sorry. Uh, let's do this. Let's do two damage. And... We could innervate and give him plus four attack. Or plus three attack. I think we'll do that. Just so we can kill that... Or plus four attack, yeah. So we can kill that next turn. What are we gonna get? Iron Bark, come on. Ugh, oh, dang it. This is the card everybody's talking about, too. This is an amazing card. Um, especially if you're a warrior, because uh, you do any damage to this guy without killing it, you get another one. It's crazy. Uh, and this is a good time to use uh, this. Alright, so basically what I'm saying is you need to get rid of this card as soon as you possibly can. Uh, and I'm going to summon a panther. Because he, if he uses a whirlwind on that, or, you know, anything kind of like that, it gets crazy really, really fast. Because you can fill a board up easily. I've actually been playing regular Hearthstone, just, you know, uh, some some laddering. Um, ah, dang, that's a card that I don't like. Um, and uh, I saw a guy with a grim patron. He throw out a Grim Patron, like, okay, gotta get rid of this pretty quickly, um, and then he used the card that, uh, I can't remember what it's called, it like throws, it's like Bouncing Blade, I think it's called Bouncing Blade, um, god dang it, he's just gonna kill this next turn, that sucks, That's not a bad hmm, I'll let, I'll let him kill it. Uh, he used a Bouncing Blade on a Grim Patron, and it's like a glitch, it's something they didn't see coming somehow. Um, but, uh, oh crap, he's got another one. But it, it, it literally had one Grim Patron, and it filled the board. Somehow filled the board. I don't really know, because what, what that card is supposed to do is it hits it until it dies. So it hit it twice. I can understand it summoning two Grim Patrons, but then the third one should have killed it, right? Very strange. Very, very strange. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm about to get hit for a lot of damage here. These stupid taunts keep getting in the way. So he's probably going to run that in and just face, 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 face. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect timing for that. Perfect timing for that. Yeah, go ahead and kill all your minions, dude. Thank you. And now I get that yes. Awesome. Oh, this is mean. I do not have lethal, but I'm very close. You're going to die. And I'm going to take this hit in the face. Solely because I don't want him to pop his bubble on my Thaddeus. So I'm going to let him run both of his into me. And I'm going to hit him in the face for 13. Oh, he killed my Kel'Thuzad. Oh, I didn't get the cool battle cry from him. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> we have almost lethal here. We are so close to lethal here, but I'm not going to take it. Sorry, guys. I could have... I could almost kill him. I'd be one away. Dang it. Oh, well. Uh, let's let's kill this force. Oh. Make him hit me. Who am I getting? Oh, crap. Please don't brawl. He brawled. No!
By the way, he has Brawl. And this card is a card that we can't get. It's one of his cards. Uh, Dark Iron Bouncer always wins Brawls. Oh, crap. If I would have hit him in the face, I would have won. Oh, that sucks. All right, so we got to make a decision here. Do we go face or do we try to take out this guy? This guy's got eight health. Uh, okay, I think we go face. We should have gone face a while ago. I could have won right there. That was stupid. All right, well, we can at least summon a panther here. Ah, uh, that was dumb. I could have had him. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I got twice as much health as this guy. Oh, crap. Am I out of minions? I might be in trouble here. Actually, he might kill himself. Just kidding. I win. <laughs> oh, I thought I was in trouble. All of a sudden, just two legendaries come out, and I run out of legendaries. I'm also on two cards. Um, but yeah, thank you, Baron Geddon, uh, for uh, hurting him enough where I could kill him now. <laughs> I'm almost out of cards. Yes, I know you are. But it doesn't matter. Down to one card and I kill this guy. This is by far the closest. Uh, the other one I killed him easily. This gave good experience too. This guy's a dragon, I think. In human form. Mark of the Wild. Yeah, I do use that card. That's kind of cool, I guess. Alright. He's done. And the card you got that. Uh, from that was the Grim Guzzler. And I put that into my warrior deck instantly because that is a very Dark good card. Oh, this should be a good test of your abilities, mortal. This was by far the hardest of the three. This guy, if you've ever seen Total Biscuit, um, uh, he, he does a thing called Lord of the Legendaries, where he, he fills his deck with only legendary cards, and he tries to beat people with it. Uh, this is that deck, essentially. He has only legendary cards. And then he has this very annoying power that summons a 1-1 taunt for only one mana. So I tried beating this deck with the deck that I used for, uh, for him, but uh, it didn't work because I can never get rid of those taunts fast enough. Uh, I found that the only way to beat this guy is with my assassin deck. Or rogue deck, sorry, rogue, it's a rogue deck. That I've changed to spell damage. I've changed, I've changed this deck a lot actually too. I've changed it to a spell damage deck. Um, very, very good. Uh, but this is a very hard battle to win. Very, very hard battle to win. And I'm sorry I didn't read that uh, the description, but uh, yeah, he, he has a legendary deck. Valera versus the Dark Iron Arena. Very, very hard. <laughs> Watch your back. You have to be on your game to beat this guy. Also, new playing board. I have not found all the secrets yet, but uh, uh, should I keep the Larn Rain Mage? Uh, the Larn Mage. I think I will. Uh, I have not found all the secrets yet, but I have found some of them. Oh, that's good. That's a good card to have. Um. That's not. Have we got a show for you today? <laughs> the greatest legends of Azeroth versus a single adventurer. What are you gonna coin into? Get ready for story time. Oh, and he announces and all of them by name guard, every time. Lord Walker Cho. Jade Serpent guide you. <sighs> so I can't use any spells. If you don't know what Lorewalker Cho does. Whenever a player casts a spell, put a copy into the other player's hand. And this guy has literally no spells. So I am screwed by this guy, basically. Because I, I could kill him right now. But he'd get two backstabs, and I do not want that. So basically, you just have to whittle him down with Here this. We go. Which kind of sucks. Is getting restless. And whenever he says that, he summons this. That's extremely annoying also. Because now I can't hit Joe. Great, but I can do this. Yes, I know, I tried to. Next up, the banana master himself, King Mukla. Mukla. So this guy is a really cheap 5-5, five, five, 
but he also gives me two bananas and these are spells which kind of sucks because of that but uh yeah so we're not gonna do it now we're gonna kill cho as fast as possible that way we can kill Mukla in the end because he's gonna do a lot of damage early here because i don't want to give this guy bananas or or these once i kill cho i can kill this guy easily because of my extra spell damage so I think we go Vaporization commencing. You and you are gone. And then do we have any more spell damage characters? No we do not. Next turn would have been awesome because I had Archmage. Um hmm. Let's see. We could kill Mukla right now, because we could do six. Do I want to waste both of my backstabs on him? Probably, because he's already done he's already done five damage. I think we kill him. Keep our Dalaran mage. I can't play that. Yes, I can. Oh crap! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's only on a minion. That's oh crap! That was stupid. I always forget that that it's on an undamaged minion. Well, I might be in trouble here. Let's do our Defias. Yeah, and I'll do that, I guess. Oh crap! We're gonna take some damage. We're gonna take five more damage, I think. Whoops. But next turn we can run him in. Or. Okay. Again. Oh, it's Fugan. Not Fuegan. Oh, I would say Fuegan. Whoops. Okay, well, thank you, uh, I guess, for not hitting me in the face. You did kill my mage, though. That's really annoying. We're definitely not going to waste an assassinate on Fugan because this guy ramps up pretty quickly. These early legendaries aren't too hard to deal with, but uh, I'm falling way behind because I've done no damage yet, and he's already done six. Not the best situation to be in. So I think the best thing right now is uh, Archmage. And I guess we go to the face. You looking at me? Here we go. Woo, three damage. Trust me, you want to save your spells for later. Master Angler, not Pego. I can wait fish all day. Okay, this is one of the this is one of those joke uh one of those joke legendaries. <laughs> Another zero four. All it does is give you an extra card draw, maybe. <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go we kill go. the taunt. We're gonna banana our mage. And kill Fugan. And now we. Geomancer? Yes. Get another weapon. And. We could kill Nat Pagel. And actually, we want this guy drawing cards because his legendaries cost so much, he's gonna fill his hand up pretty quickly. So actually, we're gonna leave him. We don't mind if he draws cards. We want that. We're not going to waste our backstab on him. So I think I'm actually going to leave it like that. Let's see what he gives us. Coming to you all the way from the mission after this one, it's Emperor Horasan. The mission after this one. I never noticed him say that. So, this is the new legendary that I have. Uh, so, as this guy said, the mission after this one, you actually get to play, uh, beat uh, Emperor Thurisian. So, at the end of your turn, reduce the cost of cards in your hand by one. Every turn. That is an OP card, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah. Oh, and actually, perfect, we can kill him right now. Spell damage plus three. This is crazy, this deck is crazy. Uh, so yeah, he's gone. So, But now, all of his cards already cost one less. I think it's forever. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, we can do quite a bit of damage here, actually. Should we banana anybody? Should we banana anybody? I think we're going to save the banana. Actually, no. I'm going to banana right now. I'm going to banana you. In case he throws on Baron Geddon, which I'm pretty sure he has. Uh, so next turn we'll probably go with Sarah. Don't blink. 
And actually, we're in a really good spot here. We got our legendaries in our hand, and we got both assassinates. So in case he throws down something we can't deal with, booby has gone. Is hiding behind the controls of an old oh, crap. I hate this card. That card is overpower to all get out. It's a really good card in itself. Uh, well, it's not really good. It's an 8 cost 5 7, which is really bad, but you get a free legendary. And again, it might be Nat Pagel or, you know, Lore Walker Cho, but it's probably going to be something that just destroys me. So, yeah, we're going to kill that right now. Uh, let's Here we hit go. that. And. Hmm, we got and more. We have more spell damage. But I think we are going to Isera. Actually, no. No, we're going to kill Zazad and kill this guy. Easy. Easy decision. Look at that. But we're not going to use him because he's buffed. We're actually going to kill him. And, and let's see what we get. Tashli. Okay, well, he missed his battle cry at least. Uh, Death Rattle, he's going to add a spare part to his hand. No big deal. He's only a 5-7. That's fine. Um, yeah, so we're going to get those two back. Uh, the mage, or the, the geomancer is not going to have his buff, but, hmm, should we do, should we do a bunch of damage to Toshley here? I think we should. Don't blink. Actually, no, because he's going to lose his, he's going to lose his buff, but he's going to gain all his health back. I think that's fine. That's fine. And now all my minions come back. That is why Kel'Thuzad is so good. The level 11 Noel, who became a legend in his own time, Hogger! That's a good card. Well, thank you. I don't mind that he has low attack. I just want him to stay alive. <laughs> All right. Well, I think the best thing here. Let's see. We can kill the Knoll and kill Hogger. Yeah, easy. Here you're gone. Go. You're gone. And you're gone. Um, <laughs> and we can play Sarah. <laughs> that was easy. This is actually the by far the best I've done against this guy. Eh, that's the worst card in my opinion. He's been mechanically tuned for maximum destruction. It's full reaper four thousand. Safety restrictions offline. <laughs> that's kind of cool. That's a really cool card, actually. Um, I've never ever seen one played ever, though. It damages like if he hits Kalthazad, he'll do six to both of these guys too. Really cool, but uh, yeah, really cool. Not but there's no but. It's just really cool. <laughs> All right, uh, but we're just gonna assassinate him. Sorry, we're gonna win this right here right now. <laughs> Fan of knives just for fun. Let's see what we get. Ah, orc magi. Uh, right. I think we have lethal. Yeah, we have lethal. What am I talking about? Boom. 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 Easy. Keep this up, and Ragnaros will soon be purged from this mountain. All right, and from that battle, what did we get? Oh, we got a, a one called Gang Up. I want to show you that, actually, before we run out of time here. I do have five minutes, but I think I'm not going to start the next one yet. All right, so Gang Up. I think it was a... Was it a warrior one? No, I just got Golden Hero Strike. Um, Gang Up. Was it maybe Rogue? Yes, it was Rogue. Choose three, yeah, choose a minion and shuffle three copies of it into your deck. If you're thinking about visiting Moonbrook, you better roll deep. I don't know what that means. That's a that's a uh, World of Warcraft reference I don't get. Um, but this card, 
I've I've been playing against people uh, on the ladder, and people have used this card with the Cold Light Seer, that card that people use the most annoying deck in the whole game, where they they fill your hand up uh, so much that you 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 lose all your cards, you get you destroy all your cards, um, and they just keep filling your hand, and then you end up. Uh, what is it called? Where you draw and you get hurt. I don't remember what it's called, but any anyway, this card is very, very cool. Um, especially if you're running out of cards, because it, it adds three cards to your deck. It doesn't change three of your cards into the card into the minion. It adds them. Also, if you have like like an Iron Beak Owl, even that's like three extra silences just just for two mana. This card is crazy good crazy crazy good i've not added it to any of my decks yet but i definitely will uh even if you like even if you get it late game like if you have like let's say i'm playing my like, let's say i'm playing my deck uh it has to be a rogue deck i guess because it's a rogue card but uh let's say i'm in the middle uh or i'm at the end of a game let's say we're both maxed out at 10 mana and i i have no cards in my hands but i have let's say uh isera out if i play gang up and choose Isera, I get three more Isera's in my deck. It works for any card, any minion. That means I can draw three more Isera's. I can eventually have four Isera's on the board and get four dream cards per turn. And that's that's a big if, but uh, that's possible. That's crazy, crazy, crazy good. Oh, I can't even imagine what people have done with that. Some crazy combos that they have somehow made but uh yeah good good card i think i'm gonna actually let's let's do that now let's let's put it in there now what should we get rid of uh cold blood mm, i'm probably gonna keep that leopard gnome probably gonna keep that too probably don't need two of you so we got one. And you know what? I probably only need one gang up. I think that's good. Yeah, we'll replace a Defias ringleader for a gang up. That sounds good to me. Um, but anyway, the other card uh, that I wanted to show you was the new warrior card. Where is it? Oh, is it not a warrior card? Was it just a neutral card? Come on, I thought it was a three cost. Oh no, it's a five cost, that's right. Yeah, it must be a five cost neutral, wow. Wait, what, where is it? I swear I put it in here already. What is going on? It's a five cost. Oh, it is, it is a neutral, holy crap, wow. Yeah, so here it is, the Grim Patron. Whenever this minion survives damage, summon another Grim Patron. Yeah. Yes. OP to all get out. I'm sorry, but this card is crazy, crazy. Because because it doesn't just summon a 3-3. A three, three. It summons a 3-3 three, three with the same power. So basically, if you have two Whirlwinds, Let's just say, let's just say this. Okay, I have a whirlwind. Do I have this in here? I thought I had it in here. I do not have them in here. Wow. Okay. Well, I need to change that. Get out of here, Stormwind Knight. You're terrible. Give me two Grim Patrons. Um, so let's say I have a Grim Patron out on the board. I use Inner Rage and I deal one damage. He becomes a five-two, and I get another Grim Patron. If I use two whirlwinds, which I don't even have any in here. It deals one damage to both of them. They're both still alive, and two more come out. If I use the second Whirlwind, one of them dies. The other three gain another copy, and I have six three attack minions on the board. That's with that's an easy play too. I mean, Inner Rage. Everybody plays with Inner Rage, and Whirlwind. That's a, I mean, they're both. They're not even. I guess that's a common card, and, and Whirlwind is a, just a normal card. That everybody gets but uh yeah i think i'm gonna add whirlwind in here too 
because that is a great you're out of here uh, you're also out of here give me two whirlwinds yeah very very good card I'm assuming I'm just gonna speculate that that card will be nerfed after a while because that card is overpowered by a lot so anyways that's are my uh, unpopular opinions on the new hearthstone card so Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.